Ann Coles was born on August 12, 1943 in Barbados, but she moved to Canada at the age of 13. She always enjoyed reading and learning and she graduated from McGill University in 1981 with a degree in psychology and sociology. In 1969, Coles participated in a protest against alleged racist treatment of students at Sir George Williams University. She served four months in prison but was later pardoned. In 1974, Cools restarted and directed Women in Transition Incorporation, one of Canada's first shelters for victims of domestic violence. Anne Cools worked on the National Parole Board and the Senate. Cools gave speeches to emphasize the correlation between experiencing domestic violence as a child and growing up to be abusive. She believed in true gender equality and did a lot of meaningful work to minimize domestic violence and provide children with support from both parents. Anne Cools retired from the Senate on August 11, 2018. She is known as the Dean of the Senate as she is the longest serving member and the first black senator. Have you ever heard of a little sitcom from back in the day called Degrassi? If you haven't, then you should know this is just the beginning of how Drake's legendary career started. Born and raised in Toronto, He's grown from being raised by his single mother in a less wealthy neighborhood to one of the most prolific rappers in history, receiving many accolades from his upbeat songs, including five Grammy Awards. To this day, Drake's net worth stands at a whopping $260 million. Talk about that hot one, Drake. He did a lot of popular songs that resonate around the world, such as In My Feelings, Hotline Bling, and God's Plan. Not only are his music videos perfect, but he even demonstrates kindness and humility through his donations. He even donated lots of money to those less fortunate in his God's Plan music video. And don't forget, he did two collabs with one of the greatest celebrated artists this world has ever seen. The one and only Rihanna. If you can sing next to someone who shines, you must be pretty on key. Julie Black, born on November 8, 1977, is an active Canadian singer, songwriter, producer, and actress. She is based currently in Toronto, Ontario. She has collaborated and written for many artists including Nas, Destiny's Child, and Sean Paul. Julie Black is the youngest of nine children born to Jamaican immigrants and holds the status as a first-generation Canadian. She was courted by Universal Music Canada where she was offered a deal to help propel her career. She capitalized on these opportunities to project her career further to what it has become today. In the summer of 2007, her new single, Seven Day Fool, was released, becoming Julie Black's first top 10 hit in Canada. She was chosen by CBC Music as one of the 25 greatest Canadian singers ever, and has been dubbed Canada's queen of R&B by her fans and peers. Her most recent performance was at the NBA All-Star Game last Sunday singing the Canadian Anthem. Malcolm Gladwell was raised in Elmira, Ontario, into an academic family. His mother was a psychotherapist and his father was a mathematics professor at Waterloo. Gladwell was recognized from early on as an ambitious and single-minded boy. His father allowed him to roam the offices at the University of Waterloo, which built his interest in academics and reading. In 1984, Gladwell earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Toronto. And in 2007, the University of Waterloo awarded Gladwell an honorary doctorate. In 2011, he was awarded the Order of Canada, the second highest honor in the Canadian merit system. Malcolm Gladwell is best known for being the author of five New York Times bestsellers. He wrote his first book, The Tipping Point, in 2000 and has since gone on to write 12 books in total. Gladwell's writings often deal with the unexpected implications of research in the social sciences, like sociology and psychology, and make frequent and extended use of academic work. Gladwell also runs six podcasts. His most recent one, Revisionist History, has garnered 1.1 million viewers. He is still actively producing podcasts and writing books to this day. Nelson Mandela was one of the most prominent figures in South African history. He's widely recognized for leading the fight to free his people from the apartheid system serving as the president from 1994 to 1999. Mandela was raised in a small African village and studied at the University of Witwatersrand. 
When the apartheid system was instituted in 1948, Mandela campaigned for the better treatment of his people. Fourteen years later, while Mandela was returning to South Africa after obtaining money for weapons and protests, he was caught and arrested for treason. Nelson Mandela spent 26 years in prison before the new president, F.W. de Klerk, released Mandela in 1990. Mandela was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 and was elected president of South Africa in 1994. Mandela inspired people everywhere around the world, including many Canadians. He spent time talking to the youth and even visited schools in Ontario and was made an honorary Canadian citizen in 2001. Mandela died in 2013, but will always be remembered as a persevering individual who would stop at nothing to gain equal rights for all South Africans. Oscar Peterson was a black Canadian born in 1922 and passed away in 2007. He is regarded as one of the most talented and influential jazz pianists. He was well known for his speed and dexterity on the keys and was admired by many. He, as well as his love for music, grew up in Little Burgundy, Montreal. He started playing piano at five years old, even though his family knew they couldn't afford it. They kept pushing him to practice twice as hard. Oscar had been battling tuberculosis and had finally fought it off by the time he'd found his love for jazz music. His performance career really kicked off in high school when he was playing in the Johnny Holmes Orchestra. After a while, Oscar Peterson decided the orchestra wasn't for him and he went on to start his own trio. Oscar Peterson has won some of the most prestigious awards in Canada. He has won the Order of Canada, the National Order of Quebec, and the Order of Ontario. These are some of the highest awards a citizen can obtain in Canada. He has done concerts worldwide and has won many Grammy Awards. He will go down in history as one of the greatest jazz musicians ever.